Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you've gone Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Um, this is a timeless random read. Now, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, timeless random read. So let's go ahead. Uh, this is a Kipper deck, right? These have been pre-shuffled, you know. I'm going to do a little shuffling through. Right. So let's see what jumps out from the Kipper deck, right? Let's see. Let's get, this kick, get this kicked off, right? <laughs> Ooh, hi, honor, yeah. <laughs> let's see what else we have here. Change, ooh. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Ooh, official person. Let's get one more. Let's get one more here. So let's get one more here. Oh shoot. This one obviously belongs here. Occupation. I guess we're getting fly. Mm-hmm. Distant horizons. Woo hoo. <laughs> all right so let's see and, and i got my little my little kipper chart here just in case you know because i'm not too familiar too much with this but all right <clears throat> so it appears that somebody is regarded uh as a high honor individual right this is somebody that somebody looks up to right um and somebody looks up to this person because they are experienced, okay? Not be, just because of randomly, but it's because this person has a lot of experience in something, right? So this is why people see this person in high honor, right? Because they have some sort of knowledge. Now, there's going to be a change in somebody's life uh, right here because we do have, you know, change means something is going to change, right? Now, it could be that somebody may lose that high honor. That might be the change, you know, or somebody may be uh, raised up further in this high honor as change. But um, it could even have nothing to do with this, okay? This could just be that somebody has changed their idea or outlook on things, right? Um, we do have an official person right here. This could be the person who is of high honor right this official person i mean he's got all kinds of you know medals and all this shit on his uh coat you know and so <clears throat> he may be the person of high honor who is has changed right this person may have changed they may have changed their occupation look we have occupation right after that right so somebody may have changed their occupation from being an official person to possibly being somebody who was just, you know, I'm feeling like an entrepreneur, somebody who does their own thing, right? Their own craft, somebody who's got their own craft going on. You know what I'm saying? And, and this craft is, is, is their own personal gift that they have, that they know, that they're sharing with others. And this is what their occupation uh, consists of, right? Yeah. And uh, there may be a gift coming along to somebody here, right? Could be coming along to this person who is changing their occupation, right? Somebody may have uh, been doing something their whole life and now they want to do something else, right? I don't need this, this chart thing. So that's basically what I'm, I'm feeling here. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some tarot and see what happens uh, with this. Right. This also has been pre-shuffled, so let's let's see what comes out here, you know, for this this random reading. Okay, so it looks like somebody is was held in some high regard, right? They are changing. They don't want to be in this occupation anymore, 
right? They're tired of it. Or maybe they just feel like, you know what? It could actually be like somebody has conquered something and people see them in high honor and they're like, you know what? Okay, I'm cool. I already understand all this stuff. I want to move on to a different subject or a different thing. I want to learn about something else now. You know, like they've already got that down. And now they're ready to learn something else. Like maybe this person is in a um, going through a, uh, the phase in their life where they just got there. They got to pull in all kinds of information, you know, like I, I went through that. You know, I used to hate going to school, but then I hit a certain age and I went crazy, had to start reading books and reading all kinds of things, watching documentaries, um, looking stuff up. Um, and it, it was like crazy. It was weird. But, you know, it was, be but it was all done because I wanted to do it. You know, I had the urge to do it. So it was real easy to do, you know, when it's something that you're interested in, it's always going to be easier for you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're really interested in it. You know, you're not going to, you're going to be like, ah, oh, I don't want to read this book. It sounds boring, you know, and then you start reading into it. It is kind of boring like oh my god and you don't want to read it right but when you're interested in something or a subject and you start reading it it's just real exciting to you anyways right yeah so anyways <laughs> let's go ahead and uh grab some cards here and see what comes out for this uh reading timeless random reading somebody just wants to change now they just want a new change Right, they've experienced a lot of things and they're good with what they've learned from the past, whatever. And now they want to move on to the next uh, adventure or next whatever, right? A whole bunch of cards just came out. <clears throat> so first of all, we have the Page of Swords. And somebody may be watching that individual of high honor and uh, waiting for the perfect time to come in to, and to speak, right? Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, speak their truth. Look, there it is. And um, this might be a king of pentacles coming in to tell this high honored person this, right? This high honored person may actually be the empress. Somebody is watching the empress. Um, they may have held her in a, uh, you know, in a, in an illusion, right? They may have uh, kept her in an illusion, right? Thinking that she was going to have something, do something, right? But... <clears throat> She ended up uh, having to defend herself. She ended up even, you know, changing her occupation. You know, she was doing one thing and she switched over to something else. And uh, this King of Pentacles uh, may have also changed his, uh, what do you call it, his occupation, right? Um, or, or... He changed his occupation. She is still being held as an high honored a person, right? What was this again? What did that say? Oh, official person in high honor. So she is the official person, the high honored person, right? She is truthful and she stands up for herself, right? Uh, King of Pentacles may have changed his occupation. You know, maybe he's a businessman, changed his occupation. Very defensive individual, though. Um, what else do we have going on here? What else do we have going on here? Uh, I think this one, this one, and this one, right? Yeah. So we do have the four of cups in the reverse. Somebody is not making an offer or, um, something may not be a missed opportunity in, in regards to this empress, right? Um, yeah, uh, somebody's trying to have the strength to come in and defend themselves, to defend their state, their case, or whatever, you know. Um, I don't know. They got something to say to this empress, right? And it's got to do with uh, secrets. And they're wanting to make an offer, uh, and they're wanting to see what the empress wants to say about all this. Interesting, right? Yeah, what do we have here? Knight of Rods coming in real passionately with this cup of love. Oh my gosh, the tower moment, right? Oh my God, he was waiting for these seeds to grow. He really was, but he's going to come in with some sort of emotions and some sort of offer of marriage maybe and longevity. Wow. Well, he's going to tell some truth about that. Oh shit. Maybe he's, he's with the Queen of Cups, right? Queen of Cups is the Empress though. One and the same person. King of Swords. That's the Emperor. You see that shit? The Emperor and the Empress are right next to each other. And then there's a Queen of Rods. Oh, God. Okay, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what's going on there. Let's go ahead and pull out some of these. Uh, uh, this is the bicycle fire deck, right? What comes out here? Anything? Uh, tell us about this uh, page of swords, right? Who's spying? What's going on with this spy action going on here with this page of swords? Who is spying? Who's spying on you? Who was spying on the Empress? I mean, who is spying on the Empress? Who is spying on the Empress? Who is spying? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so this is who is spying on the Empress. Who is spying on the Empress is a person who wants to come in and speak their truth, okay? Whoever that is, right? <clears throat> they want to talk about working it out. <laughs> wow. They want to talk, you know, they've been working on themselves. Now they want to know and they want to tell, you know, the Empress, hey, I've been working on myself and I want to collaborate with you. I want to work it out with you. Okay. Um, and, and they're worried that the passion may be gone here or, or something like that. You know. Wow. Interesting. Let's see. Okay. Why? Um, what is this Ace of... Um, what is this Ace of Swords right here? What are they? What truth are they trying to tell? What's the truth with the, with this Ace of Swords? What is the truth with this Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords right here. Okay, the truth is is you know soulmate. Okay, this eleven eleven card. They feel that 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 uh, the truth is that that they're the soulmate. And they want to have victory with their soulmate. And they're very passionate about this uh, situation. But, you know, this is a player. He's flighty. You know, I, I understand being passionate for your soulmate. But, are you know, so you're supposed to stay with your soulmate. You're not supposed to be flighty. And you know what I'm saying? Unless this is the king of pentacles. And that is his um, energy, you know, being the like a player, you know, or, you know, playing around or whatever. I don't know, you know. I just dropped a couple of cards and they get them real quick. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> so why, you know, I'm curious too about also why is this, what is this seven of cups right here? Like what are these options? What is, what the heck does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are these options? What are all the options? Or what are all these illusions that that we have here in regards to this uh, seven, seven of Cups? <clears throat> okay, what, what's going on with the Seven of Cups? What are these illusions? Or what are these options? Or what are these choices? What is the Seven of Cups doing right here? Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups is, you know, a lover in re lovers in reverse, right? Rem not reminiscing about somebody from the past, not having a lover, you know, the lover is not getting along, okay, that's what it is. And a lover, the lover has walked away, you know, so there wasn't, uh, oh, actually, somebody's not walking away from a lover, right? Uh, somebody has found out some truth. That's why, okay, so they did have a lot of options here, right? They had a lot of ideas is what it was. They were, they were, had all these illusions in their head about a lover that they're not getting along with. And, um, but this person is not allowing this to end because they found out some truth about that person. And they see that, you know, you know, this person wasn't, uh, you know, they thought this person had a lot of options that they were doing this, that, and the other with whoever, you know what I'm saying? But they, they weren't. That was just an illusion, right? And um, truth is, the person who wants to have this uh, Ace of Swords truth come in, they want to tell the truth about, you know, you're my soulmate, blah, blah, blah. I thought that you were playing around with other people. We don't get along now because of that. And because of my, you know, mental illusions, right? And I found out that you weren't type of energy and, you know, maybe they're coming to apologize to somebody here. I, you know, I don't know, right? Anything else for that? Uh, um, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Scratch that now. Now I want to know real quick. <clears throat> okay. 
Now I want to know what is this what is the moon card doing here? Why is this moon card here? Why is this moon card here? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Because that's about illusions and secrets, too. You know what I'm saying? Anything else to that moon card? Anything else to that moon card? <clears throat> All right. The secret is somebody, happy family, happy home, right? Somebody's either married or in a relationship or wants to have that. Um, or somebody wants an end, somebody wants equal give and take, or somebody's in a, re a relationship where it's not e equal give and take, um, or somebody is giving to two situations, right? Yeah, look, they're juggling, they're giving to two situations. There you go. Someone's in a, in a uh, happy family, happy home, and somebody, and that same person is also giving to some other sort of relationship somewhere else. So there's some um, cheating going on here, cheating and lying. Um, somebody wants to fix something, yeah, and make amends with somebody, you're my soulmate and everything, but the secret is, is that somebody's attached here, and they're going to try to come in like they're not, you know, so I don't know, use your best judgment, because they may have realized that uh, the high honored person, you know, is their person, but they're, they may be attached, and that's just too bad. Don't keep coming back if you are still attached, trying to talk to your, you know, number. I'm not your number one if you're married to someone else, right? Right. So, <clears throat> yeah, trippy, right? So, let's get these up. I want to do another round. I want to see uh, what else is going on here. What's the situation? Let me just fix this really quick. Okay. I swear the dog is always chewing on something, man. <laughs> Dang it. It's okay. He's so cute. Let me fix these ones now. Sorry, you guys. You know, shit. All right. Okay. And then let me just do these, you know. Just. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna put all these back. Okay. What else we got for today's reading involving the situation or is there any other situation that's included here? Okay, so we do have a main female that came out. Who else do we have going on in the situation? Who else is going on? What else is going on in the situation? Family room. Main female has got issues with the family situation. Right. Family room is a place where people, you know, they discuss things. Courtship. Somebody may be coming to court the main female. Look, they might be going to her house. All right. So somebody is thinking about a main female, and they're thinking about going to someone's house to maybe uh, offer some sort of courtship to uh, this main female. They might be going to her home, you know, to speak to her about this go to her home or request from her family, her hand in marriage or something like this, right? Let's see what else is going on here for this part of the story. What else is going on here for this part 
tell the story. Yep, I'm gonna hold the cards upside down and I'm gonna fall in with the deal. Let's see what all this is first. We have the King of Swords. All right. So there is uh, some, uh, the King of Swords maybe making an approach to this main female. I see it. Oh, man, the female could be this Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soulmates. Somebody's coming to court their soulmates. Problem is here is this is a three-party situation, or it could be celebration, actually. Hold on, hold on. It could be a celebration, right? He has come to speak to the main female because he wants the Ten of Cups with her, that Queen of Cups, right? She probably even knew it was coming. But something going on in the family room that brings the situation to an end to between these two, right? And uh, somebody's find, trying to find balance to um, court this individual, but there's some issues here, right? Wow, there's always some sort of... Or somebody may see somebody as their world, right? Like, oh, you are my world. We will conquer together, whatever, right? You are my soulmate. I see that too. Yeah. But there's some sort of um, message here. It could be a message of a younger person. It could be a message of... Um, some sort of um, child could be um, a message of emotion somebody barely you know talking about emotions like maybe they haven't really done that before right brand new at doing that seven of rods it was in the reverse so somebody does not want to have to be defensive anymore you don't want to have to deal with that we have the six of pentacles um in the upright somebody may have been giving to two or there might have been a situation where there was no equal give and take here right <clears throat> yeah something like that look somebody wants to take a leap of faith they want to go move forward on the chariot but there has been some fighting or some difficulties between others they are going to be leaving a toxic situation and go towards the Queen of Swords. I see. So there's some difficulty between this ki this Queen of Cups right here. We have a couple, King and Queen of Swords, right? But we have the Queen of Cups here. We don't have the King of Cups here, right? Is he coming up here? No, he's not. Look, somebody here is feeling trapped in a situation. Ooh, yeah, devil energy. And, you know, ooh, and Ten of Swords. I haven't seen the devil energy in a while. You know, look, Justice. What are you doing with the Libra? Anyhow, um, it's like a good old uh, melodrama, right? Right here, a novella. What is this King of Swords doing here? What? It, why is this King of Swords here for the main female? Why is this King of Swords here for the main female? Why is this King of Swords here for the main female? Ooh, he wants to talk to her about. Ten of Cups energy. He wants to come and speak his truth about that. Happy family, happy home. You know, he might be um, telling her that he has that already. You know what I'm saying? Why is this Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Main female. Why is this Queen of Cups here? <clears throat> Oh, she's feeling um, the loss over this relationship after they have this talk. Yup. Yup, you guys. Right? <clears throat> Damn. So he basically came to tell her that he's happy where he is. He didn't, he was feeling guilty, didn't want to leave her hanging, but he had to tell the truth. But basically he did, he, now she is mourning over the loss of this relationship because maybe she wanted to be with him. Because, you know, the Queen of Cups is actually the Empress. The King of Swords is actually the Emperor. So those two should actually be together. But he is happy where he is. He's got this Ten of Cups, right? And he might even have a child. Uh, so, you know. <clears throat> Why is this Ten of Cups here? Can you let's verify that Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups. Is he happy in that Ten of Cups situation? Is he happy? Oh, shoot. 
would be happy. What, what flew out like crazy like that? No, he's not. Look, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So he's actually not really happy in his Ten of Cups situation. He's come to tell her the truth that he's not happy. But see, this bothers her because if he's not happy, why is he still there? So she's she's going to refuse him because she's not trying to be involved in some sort of three-party situation, right? Yeah, look, look, no longer fighting for this relationship. Nope, sure isn't. Uh-uh-uh. Why is this world card here? Why is the world uh, card here? Did she end it? Why is the world here? Why is the world card here? Did the uh, Queen of Cups end it or what? What is? Well, there was no choice made here, right? Um, but she's not double thinking it anymore. She's not stuck thinking about it anymore. Um, she and she doesn't quite have the truth of everything, right? So she doesn't have the truth about everything, but she's just ending it because of the fact, I think, that this person is already in union with somebody, is already married, you know what I'm saying? So can't really, can't really mess with that, to be quite honest with you. Um, why is this Three of Cups here? Why is this Three of Cups here? Why is that three of cups here? All right, three of cups here. There's no victory there at all in regards to this three of cups, right? <clears throat> and there's also no, uh, no chance of any sort of finances in regards to that. Too. So somebody got involved with another person, think that the, thought, thinking that it was going to be a, a good financial situation, but it wasn't. There was no victory there. There was no money there. Somebody may have gotten involved in somebody to try and, um, you know, because of the money situation. And there was none there, though. It just looked fancy, but it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And now, uh, I guess maybe it's, it might be toxic because somebody's trying to leave the situation, you know, because the Six of Swords is about leaving a toxic situation towards something that's, you know, um, better. So they might have gotten involved in a toxic situation, right? Why, why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is all up in their head at night, can't, you know, sleep, tripping out, thinking about uh, their problems, whatever, and it could involve the Six of Pentacles, right? Uh, this person is thinking maybe about their, their uh, I'm thinking about uh, their bills, if they're able going to be able to make the payment in time or so, I don't know, some shit like that. They, maybe they have a lot of bills to pay, this person. This guy looks like he's, he's paying out a lot of money here, right? And then we have the, yeah, look, the Eight of Wands. Now, this, some people could say, oh, there's a passionate message coming in. But no, I think this person, what, the, what he's doing is he's trying to make swift movement to create some sort of stability for himself. But he's having a hard time because he's constantly having to give his money out to everybody, you know? Uh, to pay this bill, to pay that bill, to pay this person, to pay that person. I owe you this. They, I, I owe you that. Oh, wait, from five years ago. Okay, yeah. So somebody may have come into some money, and now everybody's going to that person and just trying to get all the money. Hey, remember when I loaned you? You know, and I'm like, damn, I gotta pay pay back all these people because this person may have, uh, you know, got money in some way, and then after they got this money, they're like, okay, I'm gonna do my best to pay everybody back, and then everybody starts coming out of the woodwork. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. <clears throat> so I see that going on here too. Um, yeah. So uh, somebody is uh, coming to speak about, you know, unhappiness in their marriage, but that's not this uh, Queen of Cups problem because, you know, that's the person he's married to's problem, them two, not hers. 
somebody may be trying to have some sort of um courting with this queen of cups but how can you do that if you're already married or involved somewhere else so yeah this is like a really strange somebody here is thinking weird you know how do you, how could you possibly be married and think that it's okay to go around all over the place and be with whoever and get emotional fulfillment here and get it there and that's some who taught you that you know like what what is what what, what i don't know i don't know it's so confusing to me this I have never known anybody to think that that is okay to do uh, to their, their, their spouse, you know, like that's, no, no, no. <laughs> and, and look, we got the king of, of, of wands at the bottom of the deck. We got the king of pentacles. Shit, look, we got, we got the king of swords. You know what, oh, and then, and you know what all this is. This is, this is, and look, they all in devil energy. All burdened. And they're all over the single lady. Whoa. <laughs> single ladies got a lot of options is what she's got. Right? Some of them are devil energy. Some of them are burdens, you know, and some of them are love. Yeah. She's going to have to use her intuition. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. It's okay to me. No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I, you know, that's what I have for this you know, random read. Um, yeah. Uh, if it, if it resonated with anybody, uh, this story, you know, these stories, cause it was kind of like it was two, right? Yeah. If it resonated in any way, uh, comment below. I'd like to hear anything you know about what you have to say. Also, um, subscribe, like comment and share. Yeah. And then uh, keep a true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And yeah, you know, ha have you guys had a lot of energy during the retrograde? Because I do. I've been putting out, I've been pumping out some readings, you know. Anyways, um, don't forget to check out the other playlists too that I have. There's a lot of, you know, videos in there to check out and they're all free and um, they're all different and they're all timeless. So whenever you watch one is one that's meant for you. You don't have to watch like every single one, but like look at titles and just whatever. Maybe you're going to be drawn to a date or something and, and see what's there, you know, because maybe there's a message for you in there, you know. All right, you guys, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.